I'm David Cano with the Hollywood MMA Show and MMA Show News, and I'm here at Black House MMA, and I'm joined with RFA President and Black House Manager, Mr. Ed Torres. How are you doing today, sir? I'm good, man. How are you? Good. Let's get right to it. RFA 12, Brian Ortega, Keone Koch, brother of UFC star Eric Koch. We saw Brian. He's known as, as a submission specialist for the Flying Triangle. How has he risen up so fast? Um, I don't necessarily think it's so fast. I think, uh, you know, Brian's been a, a kid that, uh, you know, recently just got his black belt. He, uh, he's trained with the Gracies for a long time and, uh, and his stand up, you know, p people, uh, you know, people are always uh, very, uh, uh, for the first thing people think of when they think of Brian is they think of his submission game, but his stand up is also very good. And that, uh, you know, Keone, I don't honestly know much about Keone, but what I've seen of Keone, he's a very well-rounded fighter. He's a very experienced fighter, even though he doesn't have that, you know, a huge record. Um, he's been around the game for a long time. He was Eric's first coach and he coaches a lot of guys. So he's a very experienced guy. So I think it's a really good kind of like, you know, the, the, the older generation meeting the new generation. So I think it's, you know, it's a really good main event and I'm looking forward to watching it. Also in the car, you have a good friend of mine, Kevin Casey, going against uh, another former UFC guy, Eddie Mendez, and that looks to be. Where do you see that fight going? Um, you know, I think you know Eddie Mendez. I know is a, is is a brawler. He's a tough guy, very tough guy. And Kevin Casey, um, you know, he's known also for his ground. But uh, I've also heard that you know he and he's been saying that he's very confident with his hands. That he's going to be looking for the knockout, is what he tells me. What other fights? Are you looking forward to seeing next Friday? Well, I'm looking forward to uh, Pedro Munoz, who's making his first title defense. He's fighting against Billy Daniels, and he's from uh, Utah, a tough kid, 7-0, and fighting against uh, uh, Pedro, who's 9-0. and um, And there's a lot of, there's Justine Kish, um, who, who's also on the card. We've got uh, Zach Chavez is fighting uh, Marcus Cowell. Um, so there's a lot of, you know, up and coming, um, fighters fighting on the card and they're all going to be real exciting and uh, you know one of the stats uh, one of the guys Ryan um, that does a lot of our social media stuff he, he created these stats and out of the 20 fighters 14 of the guys are undefeated four of them only have one loss and the two that have more than one loss are both UFC veterans that are fighting each other so it's you know they had like an 88% win percentage and uh, so, you know, we, we've got a lot of top talent fighting each other and, uh, you know, the belt, two guys are going to walk away with a uh, belt and uh, two guys are going to walk away with their first loss because all the guys competing for the title are all undefeated. I'm very happy about uh, Biggie Rhodes, uh, our welterweight champ who just recently signed with the UFC. So, you know, uh, our, our, our formula of what we're doing, of, of creating a the you know, developmental organization for the UFC is working and, and, and nothing makes me happier than seeing the guys that are competing in the RFA move on to the uh, UFC and it, it just makes it's you know I'm, I'm just even if I don't manage them or, or, or even work with them in any extent it just makes me happy to see uh, the RFA being able to produce top talent.